Nicholas Johnson is making history as Princeton's first black valedictorian in 274 years. The 22-year-old Montreal native says he was shocked when he first learned the news. It means an incredible amount to me. Um, when I think about all of the all of the mentors that I've had in my life who've supported my journey thus far, uh, particularly uh, black mentors who have encouraged me to uh, strive for excellence and not feel uh, out of place in spaces that aren't dominated by people uh, that, that look like me. Johnson's achievement getting a lot of support and praise, including from former First Lady and Princeton alum Michelle Obama, who tweeted, I have a feeling this is just the beginning for you, and I cannot wait to see everything you continue to achieve. This academic year, black students made up only 9% of Princeton's undergraduate class. It does mean a lot, uh, particularly considering Princeton's uh, past historical ties to slavery. Princeton, one of several prestigious universities facing controversy in recent years for its history with slavery. The university's first nine presidents were all slave owners. I've been uh, very deliberate in uh, chatting with uh, many of my close uh, black and African-American friends on campus, thinking critically about this past and thinking about how we can play our role to make sure that uh, the university environment is an inclusive one. As an operations research and financial engineering major at school, Johnson has already worked as a software engineer at Google and interned at Oxford University. He plans to pursue a PhD at MIT this fall. One of the key ideas I hope to focus on is the notion of building uh, broadly defined as a way to uh, serve, uh, serve humanity and impact the world. And it comes amid another first for Princeton, a virtual commencement, a new way for Johnson to share his message for the next generation. Find your passion, have the confidence to pursue your passion to the best of your ability. For today, Morgan Radford, NBC News, New York. That virtual commencement is going to happen on, on May 31st. They're going to actually try and have a, a, a traditional commencement next spring. Mm. But Nicholas said he was actually flat out stunned to find <laughs> out he was the first black graduate. Wow. Not black graduate, but black valedictorian. Wow. Pretty incredible.